What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, visually blind, uh, interesting looking place. In the last episode, we made the Paw Prince Island. We found a secret cave in the secret rock. You know what? These things kind of look like chews on the roof, don't they? Like dripping down. Maybe they're just like weird mushroom things. I don't freaking know. Also, this place looks weird. Just look at the ground. There's like all these weird holes. Maybe it's like supposed to be like moldy or something. And that's just the way the mold formed all over. It's like a carpet of mold. Hey, look, it's chews. Hey, hey, look, it's another chew. Ugh. Hey, look, it's a chew. <laughs> you know, they say the island guy comes. You know what? I gotta do it. You know, we gotta do it. Ah! Oh my god, that was an amazing feeling. Holy crap. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. Oh, it's just okay. That's like firefly light in the walls. I saw those like weird white markings, like those weird white markings, and I thought they were just like spider webs or something. But I thought they're like growing, but it was actually just light reflecting off them from the fireflies. And you know the fireflies were moving around, so it looked like the webs were moving around. It was all scary times. Hey, there's a secret part of this cave lo uh, blocked off by like a cave in or something. Whoa! It's green shoes. Now that guy could totally get in here. Look at all this crap. Jeez, there's a lot of crap. Why is there so much crap? Ah! Careful, young Linkus Park. You don't want to get hit by things that go bump in the night. <laughs> What's that from? I don't know. I feel like that's from something, though. Alright, come on, dude. Ah! Now, let's see what's in this chest. This chest is You got purple rupees! Worth 50 rupees or something. I don't freaking know. I'm on break. <laughs> Okay, so, well, we unlocked the green chew portion of this cave for that guy. Even though it doesn't matter. Like, this, I'm saying it like it means something. It doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, this looks so cool. It's before we disturb the firefly. Oh. I thought that was another way to go. But apparently it is not so... Okay, which way would we come from then? I guess it would be that way. I guess I got really disoriented. Yeah. So we go this... Oh, no, not the... <laughs> I was wondering why I stopped moving there. Whoopsies. Oh, that might be enough to break that rock after all. Yeah. I almost feel like I should have continued on the cave first. I'm gonna get lost in here. I don't remember this being that big of a cave. You got joy pendant. Wow. Fan freaking tastic. God dang. Hey, look at the. Oh no. It's a trap. Choose. Oh no. I had no idea. I had no idea. Dang it. Is there another? Can I? Can I blow something up here or something? Can I? No, it's just chew. I thought I heard like a moblin or something. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly got the notion that if you blow up certain spots, treasure chests. Well, probably because that already has happened once, except I didn't open the treasure chest, because that's for a future video. Alrighty. Whoa, what's this chest? This wasn't even blocked off, was it? Huh, interesting. Whee. Eh. Cool. Got all the red chew, even though we don't really need it. We're not going to ever be using it, but honestly, just any collectibles. It just really, really wants me to... It just calls out to me, you know? I just always want it. You got a piece of HUD! Collect a total two pieces. They really just kind of shovel out the pieces of heart, don't they? Well, I guess they reward you for exploring, which is pretty great. That's weird, because we're not even done with this cave yet. I mean, that was just out in the open. It wasn't even a bombable passage. We could have just came here to begin with at the beginning of the game. And done that. Uh, that's the exit, correct? Yes. Let's go over here now. If you look in the walls, we'll see there's little spots for us to go into. Or grapple too, I suppose. Really? Uh, for some reason, I had the feeling there was going to be green chews up here too. I was going to laugh at the guy because he never went up, went to the areas where there was a green chew. The thing is, the first instance where you'll swing on this, you'll be like, where the heck do you go? And this is kind of a weird... I mean, it's, it's obvious, but at the same time, I can completely understand if people don't understand this. But you can actually crawl up to the top of these when you grapple and you can just climb up on the pegs. Which you wouldn't even think that would be a thing you could do. But it's really cool. I like that about it. So we'll just continue ascending here. Aha! And honestly, I thought this is where the heart piece was going to be because this is—I mean, this is at least hidden in this area. Like you might even—you might not even see that pig. Looks like there's only going to—is there just going to be a joy pendant in here? It's going to be another troll chest. Nintendo, I'm warning you. You got the red rupee. That's even worse. Well, maybe not. I don't know how much joy pendants are worth. You could sell them to Beetle, but I don't remember how much you could sell them to him for. Whee! Uh oh. Oh, okay. Surprise doesn't hurt me. I guess that's all we need to do on this island. Oop, I went the wrong way. Gosh darn diggity dang it. So, I guess we're done here. Whoa! 
That toy looks like the Batman symbol. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe maybe my mind just expanding it a little bit too much. Maybe I just can't really. Maybe it's not really even close. Maybe people are gonna look at that and be like, "That is not what? How do you see that?" Oh, love this cave. Oh, great. What well, is out here to greet us? Let me guess. Choose. No. Oh. Well then. Um. All right. Let's get onto these islands. Eh. Eh. Oh, can we not? Do we not? Can we, can we swim up there? I thought maybe the whole point of these islands was to not be able to get on them and you could only use a... Really? I could have sworn we couldn't just swim out to these assholes. Assholes of an island. Oh, don't do it. Dang it, I did it. <laughs> oh, this island just kind of drops off, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see exactly where it does drop off, too. Okay, let's just try spinning around here. I don't feel like this should be this difficult to get to. Oh, you freaking asshole cannon. Stop being an asshole cannon. Uh, can we maybe get up on this island? It looks almost as if we can. Can we? We can't. I didn't think we could. Salvage Corp, help me. I'm going to drown. Oh, you totally can. Wow, I did not think that would be a thing. Huh, cool. Now, as long as these cans don't knock me off, which is, why can't I hook shot to these trees? Hello? What? What is going on here? Does it just not tell me when I could hook shot to a tree? For some reason? I feel like it probably should. Alright, let's try this again. Well, first, hold on, let's try this here. Does it? It does tell me. Well, what the balls, mate? <laughs> oh, man. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to get as close as I can, even though I don't feel like it, you should have to get that close. Are you serious? Why can't I get up here now? Nintendo? More like Nintendo. <laughs> uh, really, there's things Nintendo shouldn't be doing. Thus, Nintendo. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, it just. Wow, you just. you. Wow. Wow, hold on a second here. Alright, now try. I don't feel like it should be this freaking. Wow! You could just do that. Just very, very, very barely. Okay, this one. It looks cool. No? Okay. This tree is weird. I don't know what the heck. Why? What is this tree? It's a carrot tree. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't get it. And I don't understand it. Let's jump in here. I thought maybe that was a fish man, but no. It was a freaking cannonball going to the water. Oh, not really even a cannonball. Ooh, what's this place? Hmm. Interesting. When are we gonna get here? <gasps> Where's Robe? I will murder you with that my freaking bow and arrow. It's interesting that that guy. Uh, I mean, I accident I accidentally put that to fire arrows, but okay. Better not. Okay, I was gonna say that better not be it. That was too easy. Oh, there is another one. Uh, they already totally did some stuff. Oh no! Wait, is that electrified green chew? What? Oh. Um. I can't tell uh, if those are electrified yellow or green shoes. They look yellow to me. Alright. I don't think this guy's gonna summon. Okay. Doesn't look like he is gonna summon anything. You're gonna clear in the same spot? I think you do, don't you? Oh, you do. I just have maybe had to get farther away from him. Oh, man. Ah! Oh, okay. You know what, though? That's okay. That's okay. We can kill him, and I'm not gonna give him the chance to respond to anything else. There we go. But now you're dead, son. You're dead. Aha! Oh, there's more crap. All right, this is where shit's gonna get real, you guys. Oh, I think I missed. Where is he? Ah, oh, crap. Oh man. Well, I want. Th I said I want things to get harder. Here we go. All right, we're gonna. I'm just gonna take that off because we're kind of out of magic at this point. 89 arrows, that should be more- No! Why would you take out your freaking god dang- <sighs> right. No! Why am I still on freaking- mm! I was all prepared, and then it didn't let me do it. Ah, oh, get out of here! Jeez. Ooh, there we go. Mm, we're gonna have to hit him multiple times, though. Oh, crap. Whoa, freaking moblin! <laughs> Whoa, it's a moblin, huh? Uh, oh, I forgot I can swap to people for some reason. That's a bit weird to forget. No! Moblin! Alright, nope. 
No cigar. I see that golden feather. I'm not going to go for it. Come on. Oh, I think I might have been able to get a second arrow into him. Oh. I know. I'll go. Oh, he's still not dead, huh? Weird. I <laughs> said so that's a weird. Huh? Hey, another golden feather. Dude, get out. No. Come on. Seriously, he's not dead yet? Jeez. I think I can swap. You know what? Things are going to probably drop magic in here, aren't they? Uh, I can't. I like these kind of battlefields. Uh, come on. Come on, game. What's even hitting me? Okay, we're going to swap back to fire arrows now. Oh, not a moblin. You got to be a bit careful here. Yeah, dead. That's one of our issues dealt with here. All right. Which one's still alive? Is it this one? Yes, I thought so. Oh, that one's still alive too. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, yes. Aha. That should be good. Unless I feel like something four and one of them in the middle or something. Holy crap. Okay, that was fun. That was a fun difficulty. What it might do actually is, uh, because we're after this island, we're going to be going off to Windfall Island. So at that point, I might as well teleport to Mother and Child Island and then get more fairies. And then teleport back or back to Windfall Island. But we'll do that once we're done here. Was there, oh, yeah, there's a platform here. I already dealt with it. Okay. I'm trying to think. Did I do everything I need to do here? <gasps> we got your chart. Open the chart on the map screen. Blah, 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 blah. Let's actually do that now before I forget about it. Before I be a silly poop head and forget all about it. All about it. All right. We already did get the treasure chest in the square, right? I believe we did. Well, I mean, yes, we did. <laughs> no, get over there. Where's the one that we just unlocked? There we go. I was going to say, I didn't just skip over it, did I? All right, it looks like it's in um, a square, uh, one of the reef islands. Total color. Great. Good job. Kind of feel like he meant to put a picture on there after getting his deluxe picto, picto box, but he never did because he's a silly poop head. Are we done here? I feel like we should probably be done. Yeah, I don't get this tree. Anyone have any explanation for this tree? I doubt it because even I don't. Oh, man. Did I not get those rupees? Did I miss those freaking rupees? I want those rupees. No. Freaking sensitivity on this freaking... I think it's just a Wii U that's crazy sensitive for some stupid reason. I don't get it. It's dumb. I'm too young for this. I mean, too old for this. Yeah, that was totally worth it. Okay, so we dealt with the platform. Let's get out of here. I think that's everything, right? I believe so, because we got the treasure. And that's not the way we want it. That's towards Dragon Roost. All right, that was a good time. To do this, poopy crappies. All right. Yeah, because we're gonna be going. Wait, we did get the map fish here, right? Sure as balls. Hope we did. Wow, it's. Wait. Oh, right. I was, I was trying to get the Forsaken Fortress for some reason. I was like, why can't I warp to Forsaken Fortress? Oh yeah, because I warped to Mother and Child Island instead. It's really weird that I can't warp to, to the Forsaken Fortress. Maybe the World Ones are just scared to go there. Ooh. Alrighty, here's a fairy, and then give me another fairy. I want it in me valley. Eh, Did I get it. Okay, good. I was gonna say I better not have just got water again. That would have sucked. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to Windfall Island. I actually just looked over my notes to see if like things I could actually do there still. Most of the things I want to do in this game I can't do there yet. Which kind of is sucky, which is kind of silly. Because most of it's just like um, the Zanari side quest, which is like with the plants that I haven't started yet. Well, I have started. I talked to him, and that's why I'm bringing it up like this. Uh, what else can I do there? Um, is that really it? Well, I guess I could finish off the Chew side quest where I get all the Chews. For oh, this is beautiful. There is that awkward phase where it's not quite night yet. But everyone's gone inside. Wow, that sucks. I hate when that happens. It's like the music's playing. Everyone should be outside still. But no. Maybe I really wish this had like a typical day-night cycle. Oh, this place looks so beautiful, man. I wonder. 
if I go inside and talk to Zanari, will he let me do an auction? Because it's very clearly not night yet. And I think the one, like, the th that note on the wall right there does say it starts at, like, 6 p.m. or something. I don't think it's that late, though. Not tonight. I just want to see what he would say. Okay. Um. Hmm. Is there anything else we gotta do in Windfall Island? Okay, we've dealt with this guy. You know what? Let's change it to daytime. Even though this is very beautiful, I want to I want to get a view of everybody. So we'll be like, yeah, I've dealt with him. I've dealt with him. I've dealt with him. Have I dealt with him? I think I've dealt with him. <laughs> so yeah, I think I've done like the majority of what we need to do. And by majority, I mean like pretty much everything. There's no music. Oh man, it's because the game thinks it's night because the the music w was playing, but it was okay. This is weird. I gotta fix it. I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Whoa, I don't need to see that dude. Thanks to you, Andrew, and I have grown close to one another. Thanks so much. Okay. Okay, then. Let's go up here. Oh, that's freaking gummy. I forgot. I forgot what was up here. Oh, there's no fair wind blowing west right now. Yep, most of us men a real sense of in terms of wind direction. What if that's a hint of something? Because he's facing that way. Let's try turning the wind direction to whatever the heck way he's facing. South? Oh wait, he was talking about west. Let's try playing to the south, the way he's facing it. Let's just see if he says anything about that. Huh, okay, let's try it. Okay then. So he does just want a westerly wind. Okay, why not? West it is, son. What do you got to say about that, huh? I'm the god of the winds. Oh, there's a fair wind blowing to the west. If you were to sail and let the easterly wind take you where it would, you'll end up at a place called Mother and Child Isles. It's a real pleasant sail, not too far away. But the thing is, the Mother Island is pretty much surrounded by a high rock wall. There's no way anyone will ever get in it, not unless they can fly, of course. Actually, I think we've heard that before. That's okay. Uh, so there's nothing else for him to do. There's the killer bees. They just tell me about giving them presents. Yeah, the coolest bud. Oh, okay, they just give me stupid stock talk. Stock talk. Oh, you should put your stock in freaking... Uh, Google, they have a high thing right now. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't think it means anything. <laughs> Alright, so the only thing I think we could do in Windfall Island at this moment is one of the two or three things we have left here. I guess we have, I guess we have three things we could do, technically, this being one of them. Uh-oh. There you go, my game's glitching again where I don't have have a cursor on the screen. So weird. Alright, it's post spoils. Wow, we have 48. That's way more than enough. Alright, so let's talk to her. What can I do for you on this fine day that we need to talk? When it comes to children, my eyes never see me. Okay, yeah, I'll go down to history. Okay, so we've heard multiple times, and she does talk about joy a lot, so let's give her a joy pendant. The one purpose of joy. My dear, that's a joy pendant! <laughs> what waves her arm? She's a wacky, wavy, inflatable tube man. To tell you the truth, I love Julie above all else, and that, why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. I don't think it's the rarest thing ever, but you know. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. Tell you the truth, I've actually like about 20 of them, but that would only happen in the wildest of my dreams. No, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you to this, dear. Those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Oh my god! I felt a boom for the first time. You got a red ruby! Yay! And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. Alright, look, she's actually wearing it now. That's nice of her. <gasps> My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 47? Why, do you think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Oh, your teacher's very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with a thrill of excitement. This is what pure joy feels like. Oh, God. You could, like, throw that in, like, a million different sexual innuendos there. I'll take precisely 20 of them. Thank you. Uh, that will do just fine. My heart will be all flutter. I don't know if if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promised, I'll award you for going out and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderful, splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. Oh my god, it's a vagina. I felt my first vagina. You got the cabana deed. It's round yellow parchment. It's quite looks quite old. da 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 you see, although I'm but a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But lately... I haven't made use of it at all, so you could have it. 
It's alright, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. Now they have uh, this deed. That cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I'm getting on in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now I can just stay here and relax as I continue my work with the children. And just so you know, uh, you'll find the place southeast of here. On a, It's a tiny, lonely little isle near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it's your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, and, don't, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Wow. She just gave me a freaking free cabin because I gave her some jewelry. <laughs> Maybe, you know, like, she could sell these. Well, never mind. She just said she likes them. Hmm, are you giving me these as well? I told you I was perfectly satisfied with the 20 you gave me before. But my, you are such a persistent little dear. Since you're so insistent, I'll accept them happily. Fine. I have no choice but to unleash pure joy on you. Uh, prepare for an onrush of joy the likes you've never imagined. Oh my god, I felt my own orgasm. Or my first orgasm. What? <laughs> uh, how many joy friends have you brought? 27? Mom. My goodness, when I put these together with the ones you've already brought me, they add up to a whopping 48. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so joyful to receive as so many mountains of these beautiful pendants. I'm simply quite brimming with joy, my dear. To thank you, I have to give you my most precious of precious blowing. I shall give you this. Now close your eyes, dear. This item is so rare that spar there are sparse few others like it anywhere in the world. You got a treasure chart! Which is really weird, because she gave you something else in the previous game. What do you think? Doesn't it fill you with joy? I found a long time ago in that cabana that, that now belongs to you. My, but why the long face? I understand, my dear. I really do. You're just welling up with joy at having done such a good deed, aren't you? You mustn't forget this feeling, you hear? Not ever. Not for any reason. Jeez, you just love everything. Oh my! You're the final adjustment. Give me a joy pen. How could I forget? How many did you give me in? 48? My, but wasn't that nice? So what can I do for you, young man? Talk to me. Well, what would you like to talk about? Pendants? Can I give her more? It's weird that she took 48. Or all of them. I thought she would only take up the 40. Although I may be a school teacher, I have a cabana. Flare about me, don't you think? Oh, a certain flare about me. I was like, cabana? That makes no sense, sir. <laughs> ah, the cabana on my brain. And let me tell you, I love Julie more than anything else in the world. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> and why not? It's not like I can't afford it. Why I just have so much cash, can't even afford my, I can't even afford my Oasis Cabana. But I happen to be a very particular kind of jewelry. Now think about, uh, my room is filled with these pendants. Now, are you sure you haven't been going a little overboard with these things? Does she say anything? I mean, oh, hold on a minute. Let's let's see if we try to give her like skull necklaces or something. Will she just find like a repulsive or something? That makes sense. <laughs> oh dear, you didn't even show me. I, I get it. I get it. You're incredible, dear. <laughs> wow, she's like, okay, stop gloating already. Even though I'm like giving her this crap. What do you say about vol volunteering? Tell me, Jared, do you know about the Joyous Volunteer Association and work they do? The association's objective is to decorate our own little town with flowers and other small. Yeah, yeah, make it a joyous place. Um, came by when Zanari arrived here. He has efforts to spread joy. Uh, is there nothing a poor, worthless merchant such as myself might do to make it a better place? Suddenly, his eyes were wide open. Uh, do the thing you could do. Uh, it began. It's he's a hot volunteer. Great, that's what I got out of that. Zanari is hot. Fantastic. Uh, last thing here, I do just want to kind of the kids. <laughs> you seen that rascally gang of four one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They come up with the most suitable of names for a little game. So I've heard we be tough, we be bad, we be the toughest, baddest boys in town. Yeah, we're the killer bees. Yeah. I guess they're looking for something of a fierce name for themselves. They kind of failed spectacularly, have to ask me. <laughs> it must be nice to be young. That's funny. I've never talked to her about all that before. Um, I probably have, actually. I probably forgot all about it. I like how she says they fail, though. She's realized how lame they really are. Do you guys say anything? I like her the joy pendants. No? Yeah, it kind of sucks that, uh... You know, at least they start off as interesting characters, and now they're just like, they just say, Yeah, you're cool! And they say nothing interesting anymore. Nothing at all. <laughs> okay, so, we've practically done everything. We have but one last thing to do in Windfall Islands, which is do the flower side quest here, which is going to take a very long time. Oh yeah, we also have to give 15 blue chew jellies to the potion master over there. And then there's also this guy over here that's been sitting on a bench throughout the game. Um, he also has to do with uh, a side quest, but it's actually that he's related to the flower side quest as well 
So I gotta finish Flower Side Quest, and then I talk to him, and then he gives me a thing. But I, there's nothing we can do about that for now. One place we actually haven't been at all on the island is this little dock area over here. Let's go talk to this lady. You look like a curious boy. Do you know there's a little island to the east here called Dragon Moose Island? Looks like that island is home to a tribe of people who dance in the skies. The Mubito people. Um, it's a fairy tale on a bow because she doesn't believe it. Hey, look. Holy crap. 15 rupees? Really? Jeez. That's pretty cool. There's another hidden pot there. Another 10 rupees. Jeez. Holy crap. That's 25 rupees right there. Oh, no jar there. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Ooh. However. No. There should totally be a jar there. That's really freaking nicely hidden. Well, not really nicely hidden. It's cool, this little docking area here. I think she's like looking out for her son or something, isn't she? By any sense, she's seen any skull necklaces? My son is a sailor, but Lily has been obsessed with collecting skull necklaces. Never pays attention to his dear mom. He knows about those necklaces. Uh, what sort of cold-hearted boy prefers company to or company of jewelry to his own mom? Interesting how she doesn't mention. It would have been cool if they gave you gave us a little hint there, saying like he he also just got pigs <laughs> or something. All right, you guys, we've spent enough time wandering around here. That huge kid over there? Yeah, we've talked to him. I didn't explain the laddie story, didn't I? I think I did. It might have been one of my fell recordings, though. Anyways, this guy says, he says, he calls me a, a laddie, right? Um, I thought he said lady when I first played this game. This is my first Zelda game. I not only named Link Zelda, but I also, from talking to this guy, I was like, Oh my god, Link's a girl? <laughs> So yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, anyways, I guess we'll call it an episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. My name's Chris, and the next one, we're gonna sail away. Whoa, what the heck? The treasure chest's gone. Why is it just straight up gone? Oh yeah, there's actually, you know what? Let's finish up this island. Ooh, you know what? Let's do it in the next episode, actually, because there's a very, very, very special treasure that's dear, near and dear to my heart in there very near and dear yep oh okay <laughs> alrighty uh, thank you guys so much for watching the next one we'll grab the, the sacred treasure that will appear one day there it is it appeared again we'll grab the sacred treasure of Windfall Islands it'll be fantastic so until next time Bye. That that's a game Grumps joke, by the way. I just felt I should say that. <laughs>